Hi, I'm Jonathan Banks, Executive Automotive Analyst at NADA Used Car Guide with this month's market update. New deliveries were up year over year for the seventh month in a row after climbing by 5.4% in August. Mainstream brands achieved a 6% sales improvement, while luxury brand deliveries rose 2%, with the industry up 5% year to date. Consequently, the seasonally adjusted annual rate shot up to nearly 17.5 million units in August, which is the highest point since January 2006. Fiat Chrysler duplicated its July success with 20% sales growth, driven by the continued growth of its Ram and Jeep brands. Deliveries for imports increased by 6% and surpassed domestics in August, with year-to-date sales up 5%. Asian import sales improved by 7%, but growth in European deliveries trailed and exhibited a modest 2% bump. Similar to recent months, Subaru was stellar and grew sales by over 22%, thanks in particular to its SV, XV Crosstrek, Legacy, and Forester models, while Mazda was also up by over 11%. Nissan North America bested Toyota and Honda by realizing a near 12% sales improvement in August, with the year-to-date growth rate matching the monthly increase. Excluding Volkswagen, which sold 13% fewer units than last year, German brand deliveries improved by 12%, just as they did the previous month. Audi sales were up a notable 22%, with the gains fueled by the addition of its new A3 sedan. Per auto data, incentive spending climbed for the fourth consecutive month after averaging $29.75 per unit, which reflects an 18% increase year over year. Incentives exhibited double digit growth for the second straight month after increasing by 13% in July. New vehicle inventory fell by six days from the previous month and is now at 55 days, which is the same level as last August. On the used side of the market, Downward price movement in August was more severe than what's generally been recorded for the month, as wholesale prices of vehicles up to eight years in age fell by 3% compared to July. The month's showing was the worst for an August since 2002, and its weak performance pulled NADA's seasonally adjusted vehicle price index down by about a point to 122.5, essentially on par with levels recorded at the start of the year. Echoing July's edition of guidelines, NADA continues to believe that the softness of the past two months in the used market is a result of the market correcting for the inordinate run-up in prices that occurred early in the spring, combined with pressure from the new vehicle market. Fueled by a progressively better economic outlook, enticing Labor Day promotions, and an ideal calendar month that included five weekends, Consumers pushed the new vehicle seasonally adjusted annual rate to 17.5 million units last month, the highest level reached in more than eight years. All told, more than 6 million new vehicles were sold from May through August, 7% above deliveries from, la from the period last year and a figure last surpassed in 2005. Incentives usually rise as the summer progresses, but this year's discount increased at a rate last seen a decade ago. Per auto data, incentive spending grew by 13% on a prior year basis in July and by a whopping 18.5% in August, which pushed spending year to date 7% higher than it was last year. Although manufacturers held back on cash on the hood discounts over the past two months, or the form most directly corrosive to used vehicle prices, they pushed finance and lease subvention up by respected averages of 16 and 19 percent. The numerous low payment lease offers and extended term zero percent financing deals led more consumers who were cross shopping both new and used vehicles to enter the new market. The rise in new vehicle sales has brought with it more used trade-ins an increasing number of which are gradually ending up at auction. Following nearly four months of declines, the number of 2006 to 2010 model year units sold at auction increased by a combined average of 2% in July and August. More significantly, off rental supply has also been trending up over the past two months, as 2013 to 2014 model year volume grew by 12% on a monthly basis in July and by another 14% in August. 
At a segment level, subcompact, compact, and mid-sized cars again performed poorly last month as prices were down by over 3% on average, while trucks and SUVs continued to outperform, with large pickup prices only falling by 1.4%. Despite the hefty declines recorded over the past two months, prices year-to-date are still 2% higher than they were through August last year, led by the large pickup segment's nearly 11% increase. But prices for nearly every segment remained flat to up on a prior year basis. Looking ahead to September, NADA expects little change in the steeper rate of depreciation record over the, recorded over the past couple months. Overall, prices in September are expected to fall between 2.3 to 3 percent, led by declines in the luxury car and utility segments. Mid-sized van prices should be influenced by a seasonal uptick in off-rental supply, and as a result, depreciation for this segment is expected to accelerate to around 3 percent, up from 2 percent average recorded year-to-date. Declines for compact and mid-sized cars should be close to the industry average, while truck and SUV losses should generally be less. For additional market insight, please download September's edition of Guidelines. Thanks for watching.